So let's just stop wasting our time and do that. Let's right click, create C sharp script, and let's say security door manager. Security door, not manager, just security door. This is going to go on two different security doors. Double click that really quick. Open it on up. Save, please. That's fine. Okay. Oh, it's giving me all kinds of errors here. Maybe Google's giving me crap. Let's get rid of that really quick. There we go. Sometimes Unity really annoys the crap out of me. Use the original file, please. Um, scroll on down. We want to grab this open door stuff out of here. Let's grab each of those, bring it into security door. So security door is going to be responsible for its own stuff. We will need some of these parameters though, such as the door height and the door speed, which are really going to become the same for both objects, but we'll leave them in here anyway. I want to rip that out. We're not going to need the transforms. Oh, I do need to know which door to enable and disable, but I shouldn't need to use... The doors themselves are going to know their own state, and they're also going to know whether or not they're in use. So let's grab the door in use method and bring it into this. So security door, and instead we're just going to say door in use. So let's get rid of that there, and use manager. Now we do need to know whether or not the door is open, so we will copy that as well, and just delete that line from this. Simplifying things so much by doing this. I really should have just done it earlier, but I was just trying to get it finished. Let's do door open. So now we know our own states. So when we're finished doing something, we can just, of course, do door in use is equal to false. And uh, then we can also do door open is equal to true. Copy these, paste them down here. Door open is now equal to false. Perfect. Scroll on down. Um, this will not need start and update functions, really. All it's going to do is be called. We need a function, a public function, that's going to get called by its parent. So what we want is instead a uh, public void activate door. Because really, uh, the use manager doesn't care what it does. It just wants the object to be activated. And I don't think I need to pass it anything. It kind of knows what it's doing. Here I can check the state of the door. So I can go back down here and start gutting the code from in here. This, for instance, can come out and come in here. And instead of if in left door, we'll just do if door in use. We want door in use is true. If door open, start coroutine, close door. We don't need this anymore. We just need to invoke the coroutine. We can get rid of that too. That's not important. The door is the door. We don't need to specify which one it is. Open door, close door. Um, in this case, we'll want to do game object. So we want to do our, 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 own, our own transform dot translate. Same thing right there as well. Save it, that should be good. Go back to the use manager and we're just going to invoke that functionality on that object for this. So really I, I probably should end up making a subclass called like activate, which all objects can inherit from and use. Let's not do that yet. Maybe we'll come back to that later on. All we need now are instead the transforms of these objects, we want the security door scripts for each. And then we will Activate. So let's do door left dot uh, activate door. And then same thing over there, except this is now door right activate door. Great. Now let's just make sure that this stuff happens properly. Let's include some floats in here just so I can see what's going on. Um, so this is going to iterate over and over and over. So let's do a debug dot log uh, opening door and I probably should include the value in this plus uh, amount dot for, dot to string thank you copy this line bring it here 
fill it in up there, closing door and a mount to string. And let's come back in here, go to my console, clear everything out, um, put the scripts on the security doors. So let's grab the doors, this door, both of these doors, add component, whoops, add component, um, security door. We'll leave the door height and speed to be the same at the moment, save this. I need to then go to the manager and add my references to both doors. Let's just type in um, security. I believe the left is a true left and the right is the other right. Okay, hit run really quick. And in this view, oh, well that was interesting. I don't know where the door is, but it's certainly not where it should be. Let's uh, try to find it. Frame up on it. It's way, 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 way. It's, uh, yeah. It's um, very high. Let's uh, bring that back down to the origin. There's where it should be. Let's figure out what's going on here. So obviously my math's wrong. We don't want to move the amount, though. We actually want to move the difference of that amount. And I don't want to translate it. Technically, I'm kind of calculating its its position, aren't I? So I should be doing transform dot position. Oh, I could, I could determine how much to move if I wanted to. So transform dot position is going to be equal to a new vector uh, of amount, and where amount is continually trying to get closer and closer and closer to that final value. Let's do that. Let's copy this here, paste that there, save it, come up here, turn it off. Turn it back on. Come on, Unity. Come in here. Did I put it in the wrong spot? Why is it moving that way? That's kind of cool. It doesn't seem to be opening the door. So the opening stuff is broken. If not door in use, if door open, Let's take a look up here. So, looks like opening's not working, is that it? Uh, it looks like the door itself has a position offset that I need to take into consideration, so I really need to create a new vector with the positions information in the right place. So let's do this, dot x, and dot, dot z. This is probably really not a great way to do this. I can think of a lot better ways to do it. But let's just stick with it. So mount is just the door speed times that. I'm at the zero location. Um, why is open door not working? Oh, that's why. I need to start at zero, not at the height. Okay, let's try that again. Very slow. I'll have to fix that. But, yeah, I can't activate it unless it's done. Let's turn that off really quick. Uh, the door height on both of these is fine. Uh, it's okay. I'll do three. And then the door speed, though, needs to be like five. Let's, let's fix that really quick. All right, let's open it. It's still not Five Nights at Freddy's fast, though. So let's increase that even faster. Let's do 10. Run it. How fast is it in Five Nights at Freddy's? Let's let's uh let's mess with the door. Where was it? Somewhere in here. Loading icon. Um, opening closing door. Does it in like a second? In less than a second, I would say. Oh, the door height. Oh, the door height's wrong. Okay. Um. Because the amount I'm moving, see how it keeps changing slightly? And it kind of depends on the speed and how much is left. So I want to make sure I do is I need to set it to the, its absolute location when I'm finished with this darn thing. So let's take the transform.position really quick. And I'm just going to make sure it's in the right location by doing when it's open, I want it to be equal to um, its x, y direction, but not amount. I just want it to be the door height and when it's closed, I truly want it to be at the zero location. So this might make a little bit of jump. Um, it, 
it should still be fine. Let's hit run really quick and uh, open. There we go. We at least, we always make sure that we do land on that final value. Okay, cool. And I'm sure if we, hopefully, rotate to the side. Yes, we can, of course, open that door as well. Great. Okay, so that's that's a good success. That's uh, some of the basic stuff in here. We've got, you know, our cameras that we can move around to. And we, of course, let's get back to where we're supposed to. We have the beginnings of our, our room and uh, making sure that we have doors that can open and close. Jeez, the next thing we really need to do is spend some time fleshing out the rest of the map. I'm going to leave the map simple like this at first just to get all the elements in place, but I'm going to create all the boxes next inside of Maya. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy stuff like this, and of course, po post below with other games or other content you would like me to uh, you know, generate in the future. Thanks again. Bye.